Okay, everybody, this is Mike with Aquila Coffee Works. It is April 17th, and we're going to do a 10 pound batch of um, Ethiopia. This is the Duramina Co op, and uh, we are um, looking forward to offering this to all of our customers. So, April 17th, 2017, and uh, this is the Duramina Co op. So what we're doing real quick is we're just getting the drum temperature stabilized and everything kind of stabilized and here in a couple of minutes, probably about one minute, we're going to go ahead and drop and we'll be ready to roast. We'll be roasting and you can follow along if you feel like spend the next uh, 10 to 15 minutes with me. First point of data that we look for when we're roasting is the turnaround. That's when the coffee is no longer cooling the drum and the drum has stabilized and started to heat back up again. Okay, we've now marked the turnaround. Turnaround happened at 1 minute and 36 seconds into the roast and at about 195 degrees. Bean temperature probe is what that is. The next phase should happen in the next three minutes or so. It's called end of drying. That's when the coffee is no longer green and it is now yellow in color. The smell also changes from a grassy color to a um, a baked bread smell, excuse me, a grassy smell, kind of a grassy earthy smell to a, um, like a baked bread smell. And when we get that phase, we'll, we'll go ahead and mark that on our uh, roasting software here. This here is called the thief. It's how you can steal coffee out of the roaster and look at it. Some people call it a trier. Um, I like to call it a thief because you can steal.
Now I'm making minor tweaks to the heat and I'm watching a lot of different things happen here. I'm watching my software, I'm watching my exhaust temperature, my supply air temperature, my beam temperature probe. Following along. The coffee is still pretty green. We're about four and a half minutes into the roast right now. We're very near the end of drying phase right now. The chaff is starting to release. The coffee is almost fully yellow. Yep, it's real close. coffee is yellow and it smells like baked bread. I'm going to mark end of drying. Those of you that roast coffee know exactly what I'm talking about. Hang on a minute. Those of you that roast coffee know what I'm talking about. End of drying is again somewhere in the neighborhood on my beam temperature probe of 275 to 300 degrees. So when the coffee is all yellow and smells like uh, baked bread instead of green and it smells like grass. Now we're moving into our caramelization and Maillard reactions and the actual browning, so to speak, of the coffee. Coffee's browning up nicely. I've also made an adjustment to the airflow. As soon as I hit end of drying, I increase the airflow. So, um, Lowering the gas pressure right now to a setting that I like so that I can slow down and not roll way too fast in the first crack. I'm looking for 30, 35 degrees rate of rise on this. I'll check the coffee about every 30 seconds to a minute right now. So I did end up marking end of drying at 290 degrees and about five and a half minutes into the roast. It's pretty good. We're real near first crack. I think I actually heard one crack, but I usually wait until I hear quite a few to mark first crack on the software. First crack is started. Make sure there's nothing in here that I don't want. We're in a heavy rolling first crack right now. I'm going to keep a real close eye. I've made airflow adjustments, I've made gas adjustments.
I'm going to go ahead and shut the gas off now and let this coast the rest of the way. We're getting really, really close to dropping the coffee. Thanks a lot.